All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to episode 64 of the Two Guys 64. Talking Booze video podcast. As always, my boy, Danny, and my boy, Ricardo. Ricky. What are we doing this week? Bro, we're doing, we're doing a, a special rum. This is called La Hechicera. It's beautiful. Such and a cool it's bottle. It's special, I say, because it's from, from Colombia, from Barranquilla. More specifically, which is one from. It's from Barranquilla. How cool is that? We've never done a show from Bogota, like with an alcohol from Bogota. And it's weird because I never s heard about this before, like you said, about everything. It actually says where it's uh, uh, right, right bottled or whatever. Yeah. So, and it's it's in in uh, in Barranquilla. In the it's so cool. I think it, it's from Casa Santana Distillery in Barranquilla. He's got the address. Uh, the oh, hechicera is Spanish for enchantress, so right. um, kind of cool. I mean, I, I wonder, I wonder, hmm. I wonder what, why the name, yeah. yeah we have to look that up because homeboy did not uh, do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, what am I supposed to call them and ask? No, I, I, I mean, me, I mean, we have such good questions that we think about during the show, like Asombroso, why does it have that? Phallic thing, right? You know, we've well, never asked. What are we going to do? Call customer service and be like, "Hey, could you please explain to us?" We I mean, have that's the what, owner's that's what the card. That's what a reporter does, though. Yeah, a good so that's reporter. That's you could tell that we're not amateurs. Reporters, <laughs> not even good reporters. We're not reporters. We're not. Us. We're just two guys talking booze. <laughs> um, yeah, true. So this this <laughs> rum is considered a blended modernist rum. So a blend is a blend of the individual rums, yeah. and the modernist is they use the modern technology. It's not like the old school rum making. So um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. The bottle is beautiful. So cool. I, the first thing I, I noticed was the uh, the uh, the wax the stamp. wax stamp. You That's know, real. What I like. What yeah, it's cool because there's not two bottles with the same stamp. Right, because they're exactly. all gonna have different. Everything's form, yeah. you know, it's just gonna be a unique bottle from the gecko, and like the rest of it is. So it's, it's like the palms boring. or whatever, like a it's, barranquilla, right? Yeah, like, oh no, what are you talking about? Why? Know. Because because they're dark palms. Ah, <gasps> so we're saying oh, no. Right? <laughs> uh, that's, I, I don't know. I don't know. They're that's even, laces. These are not even palms, though. <laughs> these are just all types of. It, these are uh, these are caladiums. These that look like dinosaurs. I don't know. It's just hechicera, and that's so maybe it's cool. just very. It's like yeah. monkeys. I don't know. Yeah, look. Yeah, this a monkey. Looks like a, this yeah. looks like a monkey. So la hechicera celebrates the seductive beauty of Colombia's natural landscape. That's what all that stuff is there. Yeah, okay. The vibrant. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, it's, the, it's just the vibrant biodiversity of the Caribbean and the irreverent allure of a nation, Colombia. Alluring. Um, Giraldo Mituaca began his career harvesting sugarcane during the Cuban Revolution. Again, another Cuban influence. And by chance, Mituaca made it to the shores of Colombia, where he eventually began to perfect his craft. That's the story. Ooh, that looks nice. You might recognize these beautiful silver balls given to us by Asombroso. These have been frozen. I've, yeah, I've used, I've used the ones I got, too, and yeah? they're amazing. And people are, are, like, impressed by it, right? No, I, don't, I haven't used it with people. It's ah, just me. Just <laughs> Okay, I mean, this is exciting. Yeah. This is a dark brown with reddish tones, not a golden amber. This, nice. is, this is pretty brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some reddish things. All right. So to the nose. Ooh. I I almost smell like my the house where I grew up in. Isn't that, that weird? That's crazy. I'm missing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, actually, the <laughs> smell that, that would be pretty nice. The, the smell is coffee beans and chocolate. Plantains. It's actually, it's actually Let me tell you, good coffee beans, chocolate, and plantains. I guarantee you had those in your house growing up. And peppermint leaves and vanilla cream. What are you, what are you trying to say? What do you mean? You didn't have right. those things in your house growing up. No. You don't have coffee. Liar. It's Colombia. Okay. <laughs> salud, hermano. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Salud, salud. Salucita. Para arriba. Salucita para arriba, para abajo, abajo para, para centro, centro, para adentro. Uh, wait, wait. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's going on? Spicy, right? I don't know if it's spicy for me. 
It, it just it just didn't it smelled it smelled a lot better than what it tastes like. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's uh it's a very complex I, and I mean I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it just smells so amazing. It does smell amazing. It says to the palate, plum jam and dark chocolate, a little chili, black pepper, cinnamon, and cassia bark. Well, I get the spicy is the cinnamon and the black pepper. I tasted that instantly. But um I don't get any black plum. I don't get the chocolate. I didn't get the chocolate in the smell. I don't get the chocolate in the flavor, but it's good. Or any coffee. No coffee. But there is a, a complexity. Try it a little bit now. The finish is nutmeg and cocoa, peppercorns and vanilla. I don't know. It's hard for me to find a, a taste in particular. You know, what's interesting about this uh, rum, it is produced using the Solera method. What is that? Remember, we had the Sacapa Solera in episode 26. That sounds like a, like a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> a Wait, isn't there a Solera? <laughs> The Toyota Solera. <laughs> um, so what the right. Solera method is that barrels of all ages, they're stacked up like in a pyramid, right? And like they have a hole or something. And the oldest liquid lies at the bottom of the pyramid while the newer at the, at, new one's at the top. Okay. So it's, it's 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then um, when the top one's running out of rum, they put more rum in there. Okay. So that it seeps through the other barrels to get to the stuff and the stuff at the bottom of it to get it. And oh, the older okay. liquid is pulled from a Solera system bottom tier and then more new liquid. It's interesting. We didn't I, even discuss it. Last did, time. That is interesting. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And it's a blend of rums. You're not a fan of blends because uh, you said there's too much inconsistency. Yeah. I mean, at some point. Right. What do I know though? I mean, sometimes you have a blend that is really good. No, like, like you we know? did with the swing. Yeah, exactly. But I agree with your point. Like when you're making one barrel, it's easier to, um, you have the control, but when you're blending like that was 35 different, you know, whiskeys, yeah. you were like, dude, it, it's all over the place. How can it be the same? Like the one bottle can be different. Yeah, but, but then again, which is where I contradict myself and I do that all the time is that's good. Sometimes you just find a good, a good one and you're having it and, no, that's what matters. At the end of the day, what matters is what you're. And what the hell do we know? <laughs> that's what I'm mean, saying. Like, what, what do we know? I mean, so you can buy this bottle at masterofmalt.com for forty six forty two. You can get it at totalwine.com. This for, is the bottle. That's, yeah. the, that's the glass. Oh, <laughs> for forty eight ninety nine, <laughs> and uh, you can get it at my drinks shop. My drinks with an X dot shop at for fifty five forty two fifty dollar bottle. Of, of rum. something different something yeah. interesting it looks beautiful on the, on the bar I mean, and it's good i'm you know i know i was a bit judgy in the beginning uh, no but it's good i like it so it's for uh, it's, uh, supporting my land supporting barranquilla barranquilla i'm sorry i i, I pronounced it in america yeah. anyway salute brother yeah. this is great salute. man cheers man thank you and thank you guys cheers. for joining us for episode 64 of the two guys talking booze podcast where we reviewed la hechicera reserva familia rock you good? I'm good. Good.